Hey guys, Shirsha Midji here doing a really quick video on magazines. I'm going to be actually reviewing GMP Skull Frog High RPS magazines. Uh, that's what they're labeled as. Their brand is GMP and their uh, title is High RPS magazines. Now, the, are these really high RPS? I mean, it totally depends, really, uh, what Grand BBs you're using, what, you know, gun you're using, too, what internals, what, you know, is it tuned properly or not. Um, because this M4 right here is a friend's M4. It runs at 22 rounds a second. It runs at 22 rounds a second with a 7.4, and he uses these magazines, and it does not feed flawlessly. No sector chip at 22 rounds a second. It should feed, but it doesn't. Now, FPS is fine, so the nozzle's sitting back and uh, going in the chambers long enough, and it's shooting at the FPS it should. So it's 350 with .2s with an M110 spring. Um, so it's a really old M110 spring, so with all right compression. So it's getting the FPS it should. Um, and the magazines, it seems like they're doing their job and they're feeding. Um, I use these in my M4. Let me go ahead and grab that. My M4, whoops, my M4 here, and this is running at 25 RPS, um, and it has a sector chip, and it feeds 100% with these magazines. So this gun has a sector chip to feed properly. It shoots just a little bit faster than this one, and um, they actually sound like they shoot the same, but the chrono tells me this shoots 25, and this shoots 22, 23. Um, but this one is using 11.1. This one using the 7.4. This one's built for trigger response. This one's just a balance bill with a low voltage battery. So, try not to. I'm not gonna get into this. But yeah, this feeds great. It's tuned properly with the sector chip. 25 RPS uh, runs fine. This also got up to about 28 RPS at one point, and then these magazines fed fine with the sector chip. And the nozzles will tune with that too, so it's spaced properly and all that stuff. That gun is tuned great. This one is tuned great too, but it just does not have a sector chip. So it seems like it needs one. This is a friend. So I'll probably be buying a sector chip for him here soon. And installing it. That's the only upgrade that thing needs. Because it's already got uh, really probably about three-fourths of the parts in there are upgrades already. So the magazines here I use in my M4 uh, with a GMP body. And they feed great. They fit fine. They're drop free. Um, in this Echo One body, the metal Echo One body, the magazines are drop free. My brother has a mag he uses for his Polar Star. He uses a GMP Magwell, ma uh, GMP Magpul Magwell. The magazines drop free in that. And then he also has a Colt GMP Magwell, which the magazines do not drop free in that. Now, how do they feed in his gun? His gun is getting, uh, his M4 is getting 25 RPS with an 11.1, and with these magazines, it feeds flawlessly. So, his gun shoots faster than this gun, but the other one feeds better than this one, and they both do not have sector chips. So, I'm not actually sure what's up with that. The one shoots a little faster, but it feeds better. So I think it's because just the way the hop-up is inside of the gun. Uh, my brother's running a pro one, but this is running a pro one too. But I think it's just the way it's spaced or whatever. Just the way it runs. It runs 25 RPS without a sector chip with these same mags. But this one needs a sector chip to feed flawlessly at 22, 23-ish rounds a second with the same type of hop-up. So it's just kind of tolerances, I guess. Um, so that one's going to need a sector chip. But yes, with my brother's gun, he uh, with his AEG, it's getting 25 rounds a second with both lowers it feeds well actually his polar star lower is the magpul lower so not both lowers but both uppers he has a cqb upper and a long upper and they have different hop-ups and everything feeds and these mags feed in both of those guns with both uppers with both lowers too with the polar star setup too so they feed great in there they feed great in my gun and also i've tested it in a jg body let me go ahead and grab that gun for you JGM4 plastic body. The mag stack goes tumbling. Plastic JG body. 
the magazines fit in there fine. They're a little tight. Just a little tight. I don't think they drop free, but it may. Yeah, they don't drop free. You just have to barely pull it the mag down, and then it starts to drop free. So the initial, it kind of just needs tapped. So if you turn the gun to the side and do a mag flip, it will fall out with no problem. So the magazines are made out of a very thick plastic. Um, they hold, they say they hold, I think, 140 rounds, but to be honest, I don't know that they hold that much, especially when you get them brand new, uh, the spring is very tense inside of them. They have one screw on the bottom, you can take the base plate off, and you can take the internal core out, so just like the KWA K120s, uh, everyone freaked out when KWA did that with theirs, uh, they're like, oh, KWA, you know, they have a quick... Uh, change internal magazines and then these things I think came out before that I believe these GMP mags came out before the K120s but everyone freaked out when the K120s came out when these things did the same thing um, the only difference is this has a screw and the K120s I think it's just a button so you don't need a tool I guess that's cool um, but yeah you can get black and tan you know they also make high caps my brother has high caps um, he has two of them, but he doesn't really use them very often because most of the time Milsom events don't allow that kind of stuff. So the magazines, all seven of my magazines feed fine. This one is used. I marked it here. This this one is one that my brother gave me, and it is two years old, and it doesn't feed the best. And I've, it feeds in my M4 with the sector chip, but I've tried it in uh, this rifle here and this rifle. And the newer ones feed better in this. And my friend's magazines are about a year old. So, but he hasn't used them a whole lot. So this one's just not as good, but it feeds in my gun. Just not as good as the uh, one without the sector chip. Um, so they hold, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to comment on how much they hold. You know, I should, because I uh, use them and I'm reviewing them. But it seems like they don't hold as much as what they say and i'm just gonna leave it at that i normally load about 100 bbs in here no joke i fill the speed loader up now the speed loader could be lying but i fill it up all the way and then i shut it and then i load one whole thing inside of there and it's about 100 it's marked 90 there so it's about 100 bbs i fill it all the way so and at that point when i fill it all the way the spring is tense so it's about full so normally i just cap it at 100 and just leave it at that that's 700 rounds on me that is plenty and when i use this my M, when i use my m4 um which is the only aeg m4 i have i will be using a sidearm my k or kjw slash we tech custom p226 so i can use this uh if i need to just replace the bucking put a garter one in here so it is shooting really nice as far as consistency wise so this can uh Hit people at 100 feet very consistently so now i can take shots at people with that with the the old we bucking after 10,000 rounds it became really bad it was good up till about 10,000 15,000 and then it just was bad so garter replacement was like eight bucks uh fix that but anyways um yep uh if you want to see these feed go check out my youtube video um, a few of my YouTube videos, gameplays, I've used these magazines for uh, about seven, six months, about six months. It's about a half year. Uh, so really, most of the uh, gameplay with my M4, you're going to see me using this. And you can tell uh, these magazines feed pretty much 100%. Uh, the first round does not feed when I load the magazine into the gun because my gun pre-cocks to the nozzles uh, forward, so it fires once and then loads a BB. Uh, it's not like a TMP SG-1 where I could cock the charge handle back and it would load. That'd be sweet, but uh, my M4 is not advanced like that. So if you have any questions, comment below. I really do recommend the magazines. They're kind of expensive. I think they're about $11 each. You can buy packs for 55 of 5 so you're saving a little bit there, I think. No, you're not. You're not saving any there. Are you? I don't know. Hashtag math. So figure it out yourself. But I do recommend them. They come in black and tan, high caps and mid caps. But uh, the high caps seem to be pretty good. My brother's fielding them twice, and they load BBs flawlessly. So don't know how long they last, though, but these mid caps work great. 
and they feed in a lot of different bodies from Classic Army, Echo 1, 4 GMP lowers, 2 JG lowers I've tested. Uh, other than that, I can't vouch for other lowers because I have not tried them in. Oh, they also feed in a Sima lower. Tried that. So, if you have any questions, comment below, guys. See you later.